Why does it seem farther? For so long we made magics there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. I the wind and snow than. have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. I should probably hurry because it's Loki and his giant friend. Harvey, your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Suttunger. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You've filled it already with mead from your vault, then. No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? Harvey fears she will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I am ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wit, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor. For I know that none feast nor fight like Jotnar. Your words are well chosen. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and mead to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. What the right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. Abby! Show us your might! Beat our champion and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do you mock me? I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. 
If she's truly your champion, then so be it. I'll try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. I've seen Who more is in the mood for a role? Is she too strong for you? <laughs> My lambs hit harder than you! Don't be scared of that crumble bones! Can you not beat an old woman? Mm -hmm. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. The mead is half gone. The Nagy's cauldron can be drained. Nobody's ever beaten the champions. Drink in the name of Harvey! Gunlother looks glum. She has not touched a drop of mead. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I'll see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road? and has fared that way before. He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. A river has a mouth and sometimes flows on gold. A good try, but the river's kiss is soft. It is a hammer. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. One more time? White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. It can't be snow. One more time. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Snow on the trees. You have a poet's heart, but you should have used your mind. It was swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? That was disappointing. Perhaps you'd better find someone more suited to your intelligence. What can I do Ooh. to get them to drink faster? Insult me, why don't you? You're not drink. I do some woods weak <laughs> wit. Let us play. I enjoy all great. You give me an ease. Would that mankind at Mars speech it. It is ale, of course. A child could have solved that one. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road 
He kisses hard who has two. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women. So no hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever, Javi. Yes. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel better. Much, much better. I might even go and have a drink. Not insult me anymore. Come, give it a try! And I should try the archery contest. No doubt they will toast my prowess if I succeed. What's the worst that can happen? Last time I, I mean, what is the worst that can happen? Mighty friends of the Aesir. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. I mean, no one told you to do archery drunk. Worst. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! You look a bit wobbly there. Careful! Fine shot. Now, have a drink and try another. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Is it really? Close your eyes, your luck will improve. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Uh, not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. Is that lo Loki? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Forgive me, I... I thought you were someone else. Too much drink, in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Loki there? Surely you would not dare. It's Loki. Same voice and everything. We will him gang out cold gang on morgen. I saw skip some command. In the same place. Nobody's ever beaten the champions. Drink in the name of Harvey! Thralls, humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. No guests in the kitchen! Out! Drink in the name of Harvey! I need to empty that cauldron. Then Sutunger will open his vault. Wow, that's so cool. They have a altri effect in the end.
You're drunk. I see musicians. Where is the music? Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are key, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your heart back, and then you will play. You guys it? Just what you guys are fighting over. That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive in that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. Not you too. I just you did. But, uh... <laughs> but they won't do it. How many broken bones you think? Fifty at no. least. Maybe a hundred. <laughs> there. Now give back the harp so the musicians may play. Umi has hairy balls. That was amazing. You must be half raven. Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Did I not get the heart? Huh. Yeah, you were the two fighting. The uh, cauldron huh? is empty. I should tell Sutunger. Oh, there it is. You just know it's empty. Great Sutunger, your guests thirst for meat, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible! Granola? Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunger is less than generous. None will be capable. <laughs> 